Over the past couple of years, we've seen data engineering starting to rise in popularity when it comes to a career option for a lot of people who are wanting to go into any sort of data related role. Data science around 2012 was labeled as the sexiest job of the century, but today I'm hereby labeling data engineering as the new sexiest job of the century. And it's a really great opportunity for a lot of people to further their career in data, whether that's in any sort of data related role or in the sports analytics industry as well. So in this video, we'll be going over three different reasons why becoming a data engineer might be a great option for you, whether that is in just any data role or within sports analytics. So when I was first trying to decide what to do with my career, I couldn't really decide what kind of developer I wanted to be. I just started with all my coding classes, but I couldn't decide if I wanted to do front end applications, which I soon quickly learned that front end is the worst and I didn't want to do that. Or maybe I want to do just like more back end APIs, or maybe I want to do something that was just more engineering, such as mechanical or electrical engineering. But as soon as I started learning about the world of data, it was really intriguing. And I had heard a lot of people becoming data scientists. And then I actually learned about data engineering. And so data engineering, the reason why it was so appealing was because of the type of work that a data engineer actually does. And so a data engineer is going to actually be involved with a lot of aspects of the whole data process from data collection to data storage and basically everything in between you're going to be working with data working with the systems to actually collect process store that data and so you'll be working a lot with databases you'll be working a lot with cloud infrastructures and with these new ai and large language models that are coming out you have the potential to work with those to do some prompt engineering and it's really never going to be the same because data in the real world is always different sure there's processes and things that you can do to streamline and make stuff easier but every day is a new challenge and this kind of work kind of differs a lot from something like data analysis or data science where they're more focused on building models doing more theoretical work where data engineering is more focused on the low-end aspects such as writing more low-level code which is working with databases working with data pipelines and these different cloud infrastructures. It's really closer to traditional software engineering and actually building applications, which is something that I enjoyed a little bit more. And so that's why I went with data engineering. And so when everybody flocked to data science in the 21st century, it actually left a lot of space open for different career paths. And the truth is, is there's a lot more space available in data engineering jobs than in data science, especially when we're looking at something like sports analytics. And really, it makes sense when you think about it. Most of the stuff you see on Twitter, YouTube, blogs, it's all these different analysis pieces, different research papers, different statistical analysis, and it's a lot easier for a data scientist or a data analyst to show their work than it is for a data engineer. But this leaves a lot of opportunity because a lot of people think that they need to be data scientists or data analysts. And so there's really great opportunities out there. A lot of sports teams from talking with people and from getting to know people in the industry, a lot of sports teams are needing these data engineers to handle this data, to be able to collect, process, transform and prepare this data for the models and for the different analysis that other people are doing. And so there's really a great opportunity if you want to break into sports analytics to go ahead and try to become a data engineer and work in data engineering. And this is true whether you're working in sports analytics, like I mentioned, or just within any organization. A lot of companies overhire these data scientists, but they don't have anybody that can actually do anything with coding or with the data. And so if you want to really be valuable, it's really important to learn how to code and to learn Python, to learn all the different systems. This is why I've built a couple of courses. For example, the SQL and databases for sports course, which will allow you to learn about SQL and databases and how they can be applied to sports analytics, for example. And so the last reason for becoming a data engineer is actually the pay is a little bit better than being a data scientist. So they're both very similar, but a data engineer on average is going to make more than a data scientist. And this holds true with a lot of different people that I know in a lot of different industries. And really pay isn't the only reason why I do something as a career, but if it's doing something that I like as a career, 
and I'm getting paid for it, you know, win-win, right? It's a great opportunity to do something you like and get well paid. So data engineering is becoming a more popular field, but it really is the perfect time to get into data engineering. Especially with the rise of AI, we're going to see a lot more people needing to just already have these data engineering skills to be able to transform, clean, manipulate this data. Like you're not just gonna have traditional data scientists who just get fed data and then they just run models in a Jupyter notebook but you're gonna have to do a lot of the processes that encapsulate working with data. So that is why learning these different data engineering skills can be crucial for you and for your career. And so if you're actually wanting to get started with learning different skills, web scraping is a great one. You can go ahead and check out this video here, which will show you how to get started with some different techniques of web scraping.